Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today's topic I want to bring to you is something which unfortunately absorbs quite a lot of my life and certainly headspace. And I know you'll be able to relate. Stress and worry. Hmm, what to do when it all becomes just that little bit too much or you find yourself worrying just that bit much that actually it's starting to affect you not only uh, your well-being and your mental health but actually exacerbating your physical health as well which of course we all know stress and worry can affect our mental health and our mental well-being but not a lot of people have that connection that actually if we stress and worry so much it can certainly start to affect our physical health and our physical well-being as well. So what type of things do I stress and worry about? Let's be honest about that. So for example, okay, last summer I turned 30. Now I am an absolute huge advocate for people snapping themselves out of comparisons. That is the number one thing which really fuels anxiety, stress. And I think throughout your 20s and into your 30s, and possibly for some people in their 40s, that there is such a sort of heavy pressure of an expectation that you should be in a certain place at a certain time or age in your life. For example, 20s, the expectation through my, throughout my 20s was that your education and and that your, your qualifications and things were finished and done, that you've met somebody and that perhaps all of that went really, really well. And then perhaps you were later 20s, possibly thinking about property, possibly thinking about starting a family, all of those things. Fast forward all of that and life happens. And of course, for that, the greatest thing of all is the blessing of good health. And if you've got the blessing of good health and your family are well and healthy and you don't have any of that to go with, uh, to contend with rather, then number one, that is going to put you in huge leaps forward of you being able to concentrate on everything what you want in your life. However, a lot of people aren't blessed with that. Now, I had a lot of problems throughout my 20s with different surgeries, different ailments, different issues. Um, I wasn't the healthiest, you could say, from about 23, 24 onwards. And unfortunately, I'm still dealing with some issues now, but it certainly does not define my life. It doesn't stop me from doing things. I do get bad days like we all do, um, but I get days where it does affect me and it has much more of a grasp over me. And what that does is it just kind of steers my journey of how I want my life in a slightly different direction. And then I will revisit what I want to revisit in my life. Now, stress and worry. So if it's us, for example, our own health, we can worry about that. We can worry about not being able to do a certain activity or a task or what will happen if I'm not involved in something or I can't do something on a certain day or a certain week. Again, at work, for example, if you haven't had a certain promotion by a certain time or if you haven't got a certain amount of money in the bank or you've not got a certain salary or you've not got a girlfriend or a boyfriend and all of those things aren't going strong in your life, or if you haven't got any of that in your life, then of course there is a pressure which not knowingly almost society slams on people in their late teen years into their 20s and 30s, and of course beyond as we've discussed. Now, in hindsight, what we all should be doing throughout our 20s is enjoying that decade. So from our later uh, teens into our 20s, and of course into 30s, we should be enjoying every single moment. If you're blessed with good health, then no matter how much money in the bank, you're the richest. Okay. Now, however, when you are somebody who worries and stresses a lot, you know you should be enjoying this time, but you try telling your mind that, and it is a vicious circle. It really, really is. And for me, I found myself just there. I really, really did. Um, now, we've discussed that stress and worry can be for a whole host of all different things. Now, that's for somebody who's kind of, I count myself very, very blessed. I am very appreciative of the journey which the Lord has blessed me with, and my incredible parents, and my nan, and my family, which I have. Very, very amazing. And I'm very, truly blessed for that. And I thank the Lord every day. There are people, of course, who have much, much more extensive worry uh, and stress in regards to being able to put a meal on the table, being able to support a young family. And these are people in their 20s and their 30s as well, which we know, we know that happens. And it's just that I think, unfortunately, society very quickly kind of labels you is to think that if you cope, great. If you don't cope, <laughs> sort of 
a major sort of flashpoint, what have you done, what have you done wrong type thing. And you know what, we need to eliminate that so much because you can be blessed with the most amazing journey in life or amazing start in life. And just unfortunately, life happens and you can find yourself in a situation which you didn't expect. You can have all of the degrees in the world, you can have all of the money in the bank, but if something crops up in your life you've not expected in terms of health, in terms of your child's health, or in terms of your living arrangements, let's say, or relationship, um, sort of your, your uh, status or however your relationship is, all of those things can change quickly in a flash, which can lead somebody who is almost you would never expect them to have stress and worry, and you'd never expect them to have an issue. Because, that's, for example, they went to the, the top school, the top college, they got this, they got that behind them. But yet, all of a sudden, that person is in turmoil, and they're in that hole with stress and worry and all of these things. But yet, you might think, actually, at face value, that person's fine, they've got all this, they've got that, they've got that support network. So I think society certainly doesn't help that actually... It is just quite simply, unfortunately, if you cope, amazing, great, get on with it. If you don't cope, what have you done wrong? And I think the true reality of it is you don't have to have done anything wrong. What I also want to say in that point as well is that there is not many things in this life which if you have done something wrong that you cannot rectify or you cannot correct or you cannot work hard to turn around. There's not many things in this life. As long as there is breath in your lungs, as long as your mind is healthy and well, you can keep going. You can keep going towards that bright, sunny sunset on that new horizon after that storm passes. But what do we do in terms of worry and stress? So this is what I do. So sometimes it doesn't always work. And we're going to be visiting this on my channel a lot more because I love and have a passion for motivation and helping people wherever I can. I was actually um, only just for a bit of a short walk this afternoon. I walked into my local town centre and I am a huge advocate that Yes, that we can stress and we worry over sometimes needless things, but yet never ever say that. Because number one, you have to acknowledge that there's something is important to you to then start to organize stress and worry. My biggest tip to anybody would be, for example, if you're worrying about relationships, if you're worrying about family members, if you're worrying about finances or whatever, take the day first of all. And sometimes even if that's too much, do the morning, then do the afternoon. For example, if you can't do the day and you can do the morning and afternoon and you're at work, for example, and you're going through absolute turmoil in your mind, the break you take in between morning and afternoon, even if it's just a comfort break or even if it's just to go make yourself some coffee if you work from home or if you work in any industry or, or whatever setup, that moment can be a quick sort of switch in your mind to think, actually, do you know what? Wow, it's one o'clock already. I started work at half past eight this morning. I got through it. I had a conversation with a couple of people. I got some really great work done. I feel good. It's really important to acknowledge that actually you've got through a section and you were worrying about things possibly when you got to work in the morning. You know you're gonna have things to worry about tonight when you get home. You need to kind of hypothetically block that out or pause that. And that takes strong mental ability and strength to be able to block that. But when you go into a situation such as work, which work can be, yeah, we all know, nine to five, a lot of people get stressed about it. But it also has the power to help you with your well-being of what you're going through as well. And if you don't work, getting out of the house or doing something different, you know, what? even housework, for me, absolutely very OCD. Love that, live in the family home, love helping around doing things like that. If you are occupied, you pause, and then time you've done whatever you, you're doing, again, the, the whole work analogy or doing something around the house or getting out, having a walk, when you stop then that activity and you actually clock and you think, oh goodness, that's an hour gone. Do you know what? Fantastic. Stress controlled, worried controlled for an hour. And little by little, okay, and if you can, and you're blessed to be able to do that for a whole day, and you think, do you know what, I've got through today, and you know, when you're getting bed, into bed of the evening, and you think to yourself, do you know what, wow, that's Monday done, I always do this on a Monday, that's Monday done, Bradley, after my prayers, okay, that's Monday done, and you think to yourself, do you know what, yeah, there was a lot I worried about today, but there was also a lot of good in today as well, finish it, Monday's done, never ever coming back, sadly, it's never coming back, 
but we get, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're blessed with a tomorrow. And as I always say, nobody is blessed a tomorrow. Nobody ever is promised a tomorrow. Okay, and that's one thing. We should never, ever take time for granted. So we should never try to preempt, oh, I'm worrying about next week, next month. It's like at Christmas, and I hear people worrying and stressing over the following Christmas. It's like, wow, that's a whole year. And we all know in today's society that life for so many people and my heart goes out to them, even in January, the amount of deaths and stabbings and horrific events we have heard, just alone in this part of the country and this part of the world, which has gone on just in a one month period, in a two week period, those people's lives turned around broken. So that's why I do stay connected to the news. I do take that category of time that one day at a time. Let's get through the morning, let's get through the afternoon, or if you can be blessed, let's get through the day. Because we're not made to worry and worry about things in the future. Me and my faith is a huge guidance, a huge strength, and a huge direction for me. When I get stressed and worry, worry about things, I get, and that's not just about health and things, that's me about where I am in the future, what is success defined as, I worry about my parents, I worry about my brothers, I worry about my nieces, my nephews. Every family is not perfect. And as much as we can work hard to protect and love and support our family, there is always going to be something which is going to play on your mind. And I think we have to have a healthy kind of realism that actually we can't control everything. We are gifted with this life, and the, in my mind, the Lord created us in his own image. He did not want us to have that ability to hold and store every single worry for the next three or four months ahead. He wanted us to embrace and to educate and to love one another and him each single day. So for me, faith is a huge direction and a huge guidance. And even if somebody isn't a faith, okay, I always say to somebody, even if you're not, park that for a moment, okay, that there is only one of you and you are amazing and there is only one of you in this world. You cannot physically, no matter how you try to do it, control every single worry and stress in your mind today. You cannot resolve it today. Now, faith, keeping that aside at the moment, May 31st, 2021, I lost somebody huge to me in my world. She's up above, watching over me always. It is my dear Nan, who means my absolute world to me. Now, I always promised myself that the way I see my Nan go out of this world, somebody so incredible, somebody so beautiful, just a blessing. How they went out of the, how she went out of this world, I would not, and I promised myself and my Nan, that I would not spend my valuable, precious gift of a time stressing and worrying. Mind you, I didn't learn from that, but I always keep reminding myself of that. And I do lift myself out of it. That actually, do you know what? Do you know what? Look at all what my nan done in her life. Look at all the people she helped, all the people she loved, cared for. And sometimes she would, and even the people who she helped and supported, who she barely even knew. Testament to my nan's incredible blessing to my life. And why enough would I stress and worry when unfortunately, she went out of the, the world the way she did. So it's all these things, I think life experience teaches us that. And I know when you're a late teenager, perhaps, possibly you haven't even got that, or in your early 20s, you may not still have that. You may not have been through things. I'm so, so pleased you haven't been through things. But do you know what? If the biggest takeaway from this clip can be, yes, you've got a lot on, and probably you're worried about your future, probably you're worried about a certain amount of money being in the bank. You may even be worrying about your relationship or how you're going to get through to next week. Today is the blessing. We're not even there tomorrow. We're not even there next week or the weekend or Christmas of next year, what you're thinking of. The blessing is today. Nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow. Nobody knows. Let tomorrow worry about itself. And you know what? When you start to get yourself into that mindset and tricks sort of in tips which I do. I keep a diary, keep a journal, I write things down if I've got a list of things I need to do. Perhaps on my computer I'll put a couple of sticky notes on my desk. And do you know what? Great. If I get through two of them out of the three, fantastic. If I get through all three, amazing. If I don't get through any of them, I've got my to-do list for tomorrow. I'm not going to worry about it because I can't move forward unless I've done those few things there in my head. So it's still going to be there. 
I've still worked hard. I've still given life all today. So ultimately, we need to try to control stress and worry before it controls us because it is damaging. It's damaging to your mental health. It exacerbates physical health. It can really, really just knock you up so much where it can really lead you to a point where, and I've had it in my life, I've had it in my life where you just really struggle to cope and don't go there. Try not to get yourself there. But stress and worry, it is all, it's never going to be eliminated altogether. It, it isn't. And I believe that it's a testament to a person who worries about certain things and whatever you're worrying about, it is a testament to somebody who worries. I always tell myself it's because you're conscientious, it's because you want to do a good job, it's because you want life to be good, it's because you love your family, it's because you love your friends, you want the best for them, so therefore you worry, you stress. And, and that's it. And so the biggest takeaway from this is each day, just do it day by day. Some people really can't even do that. And do you know what? That's okay. Get through the morning. Get through the morning, get through the afternoon, then the evening. Get through the morning, get through the afternoon, then the evening. Lo and behold, you nearly had a weekend. Never take things for granted, my friends. Worry and stress can have such a control over you. It can fill your mind. And do you know what? If you carry on worrying, I mean, even about what's happened, like, for example, yesterday, like I said to you when we spoke about that, yesterday's gone. Hopefully you can look back on it and that you've handled it with with strength and you've conducted yourself in a positive manner and you've been you've been kind and you've been helpful and you've been really trying to spread goodness in this fallen world we live in. But do you know what? If you've made a mistake, if you've made a slip up, forget about it. You can restart over today. The blessing is today, the gift of today. And it is precious because nobody knows what's going to happen. So don't dwell on yesterday and don't certainly spend too much time thinking of yesterday because you'll miss the blessings of today. On that note, my friends, I really, really hope that I've connected, resonated with you, helped you. But as I say, and I've said it several times, the biggest takeaway is if you're stressing and worrying, okay, you're not made to, to worry and sort out all the things, whether it's goodness knows what time of the day you're trying to sort it out in your mind. Just park it, okay? If you can, write it down, keep a journal, and really section out what you can do day by day and approach it as that day by day. If you're of faith, then just, he doesn't want us to worry. He doesn't want us to destroy ourselves. He certainly doesn't want us to destroy ourselves with worrying and fear and stressing. He wants us to have that bond, that connection. He wants us to lean to him to help us deal with all of these things. And he certainly doesn't want us worrying about tomorrow. He wants us to concentrate on the gift of today. And again, if you're not a faith, okay, concentrate on that gift of today. Because all of the things we hear in this world, it is that precious gift of today. Never put off saying something you want to to someone, whether it's your loved ones, your friends. If you want to share something, share it. Never regret a thing. Don't stress, don't worry. If you do, just like me, I know that's the worst thing somebody can say to me, but break it up and you can healthy worry and stress in a healthy manner, in a healthy way. And do you know what? Whether it's work, whether it's personal issues and things, do it on a daily basis, okay? If you can, of course. If not, morning, afternoon, evening. Section your day out, okay? Keep it written down. Do it on a daily basis. Don't worry about tomorrow because we're not even there yet appreciate today, enjoy today, love today, and let tomorrow worry about itself. On that note, God bless. Try and contain that worry, stress, anxieties. If you do have any queries, questions, or anything for me, please leave them down below. I will absolutely try my best to come back to you as quickly as I can. But as I say, this is going to be an ongoing thing, which we're going to be talking about a lot on my channel. I love helping people, love motivating people, love supporting people. And if I can you, then please leave me a line or, or, or a question, whatever you want to do. Or if it's not even about this clip, please leave the comment down below and I'll do my utmost best to come back to you. Okay, on that note, God bless, take great care, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.